Okay. Born Ultimatum. What can I say about this movie? Going into it, I was just a little bit worried because I didn't know what to expect, mainly because of the plot. And um, what I found out was that creators of the movie, I think, have decided to keep the plot rather to the minimum. I mean, instead, they just packed the movie with action. Brutal, kind of a street, raw, tense action through and through the movie. And um, in this particular movie, I think it actually worked quite well. It was, it was entertaining. There was very little room for any kind of dialogue, but it worked. I um, have to bring up the first 20 minutes of the movie, which I think I've enjoyed m a quite a bit, actually, more than the whole movie as whole, I think. And, and um, the reason why is that um, you cannot notice that the way they filmed the movie, the way they shot it, you kind of get the sensation that somebody was, ha you know, holding a camera and just kind of following, uh, born around, trying to catch up with him and see what he's up to. Everything is really jittery, kind of flies around, jumps around, and um, very difficult to just kind of concentrate. And to balance that, in the first 20 minutes, there's this precise dialogue, more of a directions that born is giving to this other guy and it is done with such mathematical precision that I mean it's like it was elegant to watch um, I was so into the moment I, I just I mean I even had a I think adrenaline rush because it was beautifully done enjoyed it tremendously however um, the dialogue was over with but that jump in a state a little bit heavy on the eye to uh, watch, I don't know, two hours of that. Really wished for a little bit more smoothness. And, um, but overall, action wise, excellent. Uh, I, I thought it was excellent work. Um, there were a couple goofy moments there um, that I think in movies like this are just expected, they are given, and you kind of close your eyes and you're like, okay, I'll give it to you, I'll pretend that I believed it, just to kind of, you know, not to somewhat ruin the movie experience. For me personally, one of those moments was, um, I mean, they'll have you believe that CIA and what have you trained this guy to be a perfect, I don't know, killing machine and whatnot, and he he's traveling throughout the world, he has all these identities, he has all these passports. Um, this legends and all, and um, CIA can keep track of him while he's flying from one country to the other. I mean, what is it like? They can't keep track of all his identities, all his names. I think it's so silly. They give some goofy explanation that wasn't good enough for me. I mean, quite honestly, you can't even go through airport checkpoint without taking your shoes off. So if CIA has all its forces, the best of people, working on one sole mission to hunt um, Jason Bourne down. I just didn't think it should be that difficult to kind of bring up all his names. I mean, they probably should know everything about him down to his, I don't know, birthmarks. So I thought it was kind of goofy, but also funny. Um, another one was, um, this might be a little bit of a spoiler, I'm sorry, but I gotta talk about it. There was a point where, of course, throughout all three movies, they send guys to haunt um, Born Down and uh, to eliminate the, the problem. And there's this guy who's after uh, Born and caught up to him, just, uh, you know, one second away from taking him down and being done with the problem for him. Um, all together and um, Bourne looks into his eyes and goes like do you even know why they want you to kill me and the guy looks back at him thinks about it for a couple of minutes and steps back I'm like you gotta be kidding me come on now really 
I mean, this is supposed to be, uh, this guy right here is supposed to be perfect killing machine, right? I mean, he's trained to hunt down targets and getting the mission done. That is his sole purpose of his life. He, in fact, sits in the hotel room and waits for a phone call for his next mission. And, and, and you're telling me it's so easy to cheat death as to just look into um, his eyes and all of a sudden his, you know, um, has a change of heart and he's going to think about good and bad. I mean, if he is really good at his job, let's face it, he'd probably go, hmm, I don't give a shit. Boom! So, um, but overall, quite, quite good experience um, watching it. I hope you go and see it, and I hope you enjoy it.